Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Around the League uh, NFL Divisional videos here for Saturday, March 23rd. Guys, I do a video like this for every division uh, every day, so be sure to check out the other divisions uh, if you're interested, and be sure to subscribe to get all of my videos um, uploaded uh, directly to your inbox here on YouTube. Uh, just always providing you with analysis and opinion of uh, the big news of the day regarding your favorite team. Uh, the First, in the AFC South, uh, a story that's sort of stayed in the news here for the better part of the week is the Titans signing of Sean Green, Mike Munchak coming out and saying he thinks Green's going to have a significant role uh, in the offense. He wants him to have a significant role in the offense. Green signed a three-year, $10 million contract. Chris Johnson comes out er uh, earlier this week, um, as I did a video on earlier this week, and criticized the signing um, of Sean Green saying, you know, that uh, he doesn't like two-back system. He thinks the Titans are his team. He doesn't understand why they brought in uh, Sean Green. Well, now, yesterday, you had Javon Ringer, the backup running back in Tennessee, questioning why they brought Sean Green in to essentially, you know, take his role and take his spot. Uh, and, you know, it's Chris Johnson and Javon Ringer and the Titans as a whole. You know, if your team – you know, was so good, there wouldn't be the need for the coaches to bring in competition to compete with you. Okay, the Titans have had uh, no relative success since Mike Munchak has been there. Yes, they had a season a couple of years ago where they almost made the playoffs. Okay, but they didn't. All right, and Munchak might be coaching for his job this year. Some people were even surprised he was retained uh, after some comments Bud Adams made in the middle of the season. Uh, you know, they're bringing along a young quarterback in Jake Locker. They need to have options running the ball. And if the organization thought bringing in Sean Green was going to upgrade or improve that position, then, you know, all these guys coming out being critical – uh, and openly being critical doesn't speak well to the discipline they have in that organization. I highly doubt you'd ever see someone, you know, in the Patriots organization coming out and saying this, or out in San Francisco, okay, or you know, any of these organizations that true have had success, but you know, also have a defined you know leadership uh, infrastructure in place and, and a cohesive locker room. Uh, the fact that you have a guy like Ringer, the backup running back, coming out and saying this, you know, I understand it probably means he may, may be out of a job. Um, but, you know, it's just ridiculous. And, and, you know, who cares what either of these guys think? The front office is trying to make the team better. And obviously they think Green uh, can, you know, start the process in making that happen. Uh, Jacksonville Jaguars next. You know, something I read the other day that really caught my eye. Uh, Maurice Jones-Drew, obviously the, the face of that Jaguars franchise, even though he's coming off an injury last year. Uh, came out and was very critical of people uh, making certain comments uh, regarding Blaine Gabbert and how Blaine Gabbert, you know, basically making remarks about Blaine Gabbert's play and saying how it's not up to par. And, you know, Maurice Jones Drew had his quarterbacks back and basically said, you know, that those remarks, you know, piss him off. And he used that word, pisses him off, that people come out and make comments about Gabbert. Uh, I think. Jones Drew was talking mostly about, you know, unnamed Jaguars players that maybe have come out and said stuff about Gabbert. And I like that Jones Drew has his quarterbacks back. He realizes that, you know, if the team's going to be good, Gabbert has to be good. It'll make, it, you know, if, if Gabbert can improve his play, it'll make Jones Drew, uh, you know, a better player because they won't be able to crowd the box with eight guys. And uh, I like just in general Jones Drew having his quarterbacks back because it's easy when a young quarterback comes in, uh, when he doesn't produce, for everyone to just pile on him. And I like that, you know, Jones Drew came out in public and stood up for his guy there. Uh, you know, next as far as the AFC South goes, um, the Indianapolis Colts, you know, nothing crazy going on with the Colts. They have made a lot of additions, though, this free agency period and pretty much spent all the $40 million in cap space they had. One thing, you know, I just wanted to get Colts fans' opinions on this. One thing I thought they should have took a long look at was, you know, if they were going to commit to spending money in free agency, uh, maybe looking at placing that first-round tender on Victor Cruz and making him a very competitive offer. Uh, you know, you know, Jim Irsay hinted at the fact that they were into looking at some wide receivers. He immediately said, you know, Cruz wasn't one of them. I thought that would have been a good move for the Colts, though. I mean, you get uh, Victor Cruz in there, obviously, uh, is a number one type receiver uh, to be able to 
you know, sort of work with Reggie Wayne for a couple of years and obviously become the man when Reggie Wayne left. You give Andrew Luck a dependable guy on third down. Just think if, if they had the two tight ends they have, Allen and, of course, Kobe Flaner, and then had Victor Cruz as another option down the field and also a third down option. I just think that would have been a scary look for defenses. And, you know, being the culture picking 22nd, uh, I don't think that was a, uh, you know, too, uh, you know, I don't think that, you know, that's a pick where they're going to get someone certainly of the value of Cruz. And since they had the cap space, I thought maybe it was a move that they should have made or looked into making. And, uh, you know, just want to hear your thoughts on that if you are a Colts fan. Would you have liked to have Victor Cruz or do you like the uh, the guys that they that they signed here um, in the offseason? Uh, would you rather have made those moves than signed Victor Cruz? Uh, the Texans last, you know, the Texans haven't done much the last couple of days. They just signed Shane Leckler, Leckler, the quarter, uh, the former punter, uh, out there in Oakland for years. Uh, you know, played in Oakland uh, for about ten seasons, I think, maybe even a little bit more. He had the same exact punt average that Donnie Jones had last year. Obviously, the Texans look at Leckler as an upgrade, the seasoned veteran coming in, uh, sort of coming back home. Remember, Leckler played his college football at Texas A&M. So uh, that's my rundown here uh, for the AFC South. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at S News Analysis. And, guys, I'm talking sports on here, doing these divisional videos every day. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for listening, and have a great night.